Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to do with you is an everyday makeup look that I have been going towards to. And um, I'm going to use some of the same products I use. And we're just going to do this together. I feel like a chit chat, get ready with me, would have been really good. And that's what I want to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Recently I've been loving my MAC uh, BB cream a lot lately because one, it's PF SPF 35 so it protects my skin but it's also very light so I don't have to use so much um does it feel so much like heavy on my skin Ooh, hold up I think I really got okay I don't really put it particularly everywhere on my face because I'm going for such a light um foundation put the rest but yeah the the BB cream goes a long way so yeah even though that it would probably cover your whole face I'm just gonna take my brush and um, I used to use this brush for powder and now I just use it for um, for my wet foundation not my dry powder foundation I feel like it works better. It like, definitely just works better. <laughs> so lately, I have just been working and thinking about getting back into um, how I'm gonna get back into acting and modeling after the baby. Um, I do have a shirt on, by the way. I think I thought I looked nude, so. <laughs> I thought I'd clarify that. But I've just been chilling, really. Um, I sold my computer so I didn't have a video editor. So, yeah. That happened, so that's why I haven't made so many videos lately. But I am now borrowing a computer from my mom. So, I get to make videos again. And I got the editor on there, so we're all good. And I am just using my Mary Kay. <laughs> I just had a brain fart. I'm just using my Mary Kay um, powder. And I'm putting it on my face just to matte it out. And all that jazz. And then, this is what I use on a daily basis too. I use this little bronzy part right here. And I lightly bronze out my face. This is great for work if you uh, are a working gal and you don't want to wear too much makeup to work. And I also do my little my jawbone because it makes your face kind of just like snatch together it just gives a different form I feel like and then we're gonna do my forehead because I have a big forehead especially with these dang braids <laughs> you can kind of tell so <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do blush and highlight But I am happy I got these braids because I didn't know what to do with my hair. So I just told her to braid my hair and it looks like this. She did pretty good. It still kind of hurts because I got it done like yesterday. And if I don't have my hair done, I won't come on camera. And that's another reason why I haven't made videos. Uh, yeah, so my life has been kind of a struggle lately. But... We're working on it. It's going to take that brush I use with my powder and just blend my highlight and blush together and make it blend it with the contour. The contour I did. I'm going to just contour my nose like so. And the slimmer you get, the slimmer your nose will um, look like. So that's why I do it so close together. Because it gives me an illusion of a smaller nose. And 
And I just use my hands just to blend that out. The next brushes I get are going to be like those, that oval brush. Because that brush blends really good. And I've been watching a lot of videos lately. And yo, they blend so good. But I'm going to get like the really good kind because so I'm going to save my money up. Because I want the really good kind. If I get brushes, I want them to last. And my brushes that I have now have lasted me years. And they've done their job and stuff. But I you know it's time to get new. The new new. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to go back into that little palette here. They have this little highlight right here that I obviously use because I hit pan. And um, I'm just going to highlight my nose. And you know what? I realized I didn't. I didn't highlight down here and down here and my t-zone so just like highlighting points I like to highlight so I feel like they bring out the best in me <sighs> I'll probably like add some more thickness to this because I feel like it's so thin and I look weird if it looks thin but this is my face that I usually go for if I don't really want to just go ham on my face but for the sake of this video I'm going to go ahead with my palette here and I'm going to go for just a nude uh, a skin like tone just to uh, magnify the eyeballs So I'm going to also use a nice champagne color and put it in my tear dot. This just gives an illusion that you're up and you're at it. <laughs> and so when you walk into work, you won't look so dead. And now I'm going to go with my black eyeliner. And then I'm going to go in here again and then go for the light color and that's just going to be um, the highlight for my brows and I'm lightly just going to outline it. And then for lips, I think I'm just going to use my MAC um, called Rebel. So this is a perfect makeup look for fall if you aren't ready to wear all that makeup yet. It's perfect if you're in high school, very minimum. And um, if you're on a go as well, just I see you as a baby. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.